welcome to my notes oracle dba youtube channel today we are going to discuss about pg repack what is a pg repack pg repack is known as extension that was created and is maintained as a open source project by several authors it remove blots from table and indices and optionally restore the physical order of cluster indices it works online without holding an exclusive lock on the processed tables during the processing why do you need to use pg repack to reclaim free space from a table to disk after deleting a huge chunk of records second one to rebuild a table to reorder the records and string them for lesser number of pages that is less io and more performance to reclaim a free space from a table that was grown in size with a lot of blot due to improper auto vacuum settings as we know the auto vacuum is a background process that removes a dead tuple from a table and allows the space to be reused by future updates or inserts on that table over period of time table that take maximum number of updates or deletes may have a lot of blotted space due to poorly tuned the auto vacuum settings this may leads to slow performance queries on this particular table difference between vacuum full and pg repack vacuum full command rewrites the entire table unlike the regular vacuum command so that we must ensure that there is enough space on our disk to write the new table vacuum full request access exclusive lock on every table it processes after vacuum full has locked the table no operation can be done on the table until the vacuum full operation is finished if we don't pass the table name as a parameter to this command vacuum full will be performed on all the tables in the database by default the table must be lockable for vacuum full to start so if another transaction has locked the table even with the access share lock vacuum full will lock other tables and wait for the locks in the table to be released in some cases this situation will cause locking in tables forever for this reason it is difficult and risky to use vacuum full in our systems with heavy workload in this case we can use pg repack extension instead of vacuum full because it contains minimal lock during this activity also we have to do the manual analyze after the vacuum full activity but pg repack will takes care of it also it provides the option to do the number of parallel jobs during this activity as it works if we perform a full table pg repack the pg repack will follow the below steps in the step number 1 first it will create a log table to record changes to made the original table in the step number 2 it will add a trigger on to the original table logging inserts updates and deletes into our log table in the step number 3 it will create a new table containing all the rows in the old table in the step number 4 it will build indices on this new table in the step number 5 it will apply all the changes which have occurred in the log table on the new table in the step number 6 it will swap the tables including indices and toast tables using the system catalogs and the final step is it will drop the original tables during this process the pg repack will only hold an access exclusive lock for a short period during the initial steps of 1 and 2 and during the final step of swap and drop space 2 for this rest of time pg repack only needs to hold an access share lock on the original table which means inserts updates and deletes may proceed as usual pg repack limitations only a super user can use this utility the target table must have a primary key or unique total indices on a not null column despite limited locking table repacking can still be problematic on the tables with long running queries and frequent transactional access you should ensure the session is monitored and locks are cleared to ensure there are no impact to the process repacking is to a vacuuming in that we can point at a relation and have it run however unlike vacuuming there is no repack daemon to handle automatically repacking to the blotting relations this means it is a manual process by default 
as a part of repack updates to the original table are stored into a log table and applied it later the end of this process is a single threaded so if we write rate is i enough we could end up in the situation where the repack is never able to finish because the logs fills up faster than it can be processed Hindi's repacks are generally safe because they don't impose a heavy weight lock on the table whose index is being repacked. The repack cancels or idles the process when it detects when a table has high waiting queries or a database backup is running. So please be wary of such process during this repack. It is recommended to utilize no kill background parameter as it instructs PG repacks not to kill other backends when it's timed out. We can also test out the timeout parameter as the settings control how many seconds the PG repack will wait to occur this lock. Consideration If you are using the RDS instances, we should increase the read and write IOPS on a primary and replica instances as expected. CPU spikes when repack starts by a minimal percentage and it is reduces in a span of few minutes for a larger table. Available storage gradually reduces over the entire repack space. Please make sure we have a extra storage. The storage reduced is equal to the data in a table being repacked. CPU spikes are noticeable when an index repack start and it depends on the instance class configuration. Time taken for the repack process depends on a lot of available CPU and memory of the database server. Hence it is recommended to perform PG repack during when the general load in the system is typically as it is lowest. Storage is being reclaimed once the PG repack is completed.